everybody, it's Chris Duggan here, and I'd like to share with you how I discovered the superconscious recode and create the magnetic mind process that is taking the personal development world by storm. Over 600,000 people watched our video in the first month of release, and now thousands are creating the life they love by understanding how to have a magnetic mind. For me, this has been a 15-year journey. After reading books like Think and Grow Rich and The Magic of Thinking Big and I really started to obsess and realize that, you know what, it must be me that needs to be fixed. I needed to think different, change my beliefs, change my attitude, change my emotions. And this was the problem. See, I would create short-term success and was never able to hold on to it. I built a multi-million dollar company and lost it. I would create partnerships and lose it. And I always felt like I was oscillating. One step forward, one step back. One step forward, one step back. And it always felt like a struggle. And I don't know if that's true for you, but it always felt like I was fighting myself. And every time something was going wrong, I'd race to something else. I'd go to NLP, then EFT, then Hopawono, the emotion code. I would do meditations for hours. I'd change my diet, think about ayahuasca. I would do hypnosis. And I would keep on thinking there was something I needed to change about myself. And then I met a billionaire. And he said to me, Chris, the problem is, is you must be it before you see it. Everything that you're doing is reinforcing that you're not it, which floored me because I was asking myself, well, how can I be it if I'm not it? And so he said this to me that forever changed my life. He goes, the personal development world is broken. He goes, I'm a self-made billionaire and I know it's broken because of one underlying principle. You can't fix yourself. You don't even need to fix yourself in order to create what it is you want to create. He said to me, success isn't personal, it's structural. I looked at him so confused because it was flying in the face of everything that I'd been taught about breaking the habit of being myself or changing my beliefs or thinking until I was rich. He said to me, Chris, look at the most successful manifestors in the world. People that have created huge fan bases like Michael Jackson or Lady Gaga. People who have created massive wealth like Warren Buffett or Bill Gates or, or created a whole revolution like Steve Jobs. You know, what about someone like J.K. Rowling who wrote Harry Potter or, or Oprah Winfrey? He says to me, Chris, these people didn't come from a place that they needed to fix themselves or that they were broken. He said, instead, they realized that success isn't personal, it's structural. You must just learn to remove any resistance to what you want. He said, see, Michael Jackson, he didn't fix himself. He wasn't living in abundance. He wasn't in that. But yet he had more money than anyone telling you you need to live in abundance has. Instead, he just had no resistance. He had no resistance to going out there and performing. Lady Gaga cried for 30 minutes before she went out on stage to a packed out Madison Square Garden. She was crying because she felt like a loser. Steve Jobs was not a happy person on the inside. You know, Warren Buffett doesn't eat the perfect food. Every day he has a Coca-Cola and McDonald's. He said to me, he goes, Chris, see, the truth is, is success isn't personal. And, and it was so hard for me to realize this. And he goes, it's not about you. He goes, what you've got to understand is my success is over here and I'm here. You've got to learn to recode what's in the way. And this was such a big revolution, and he introduced me to a lady who really changed my life. She showed me a process that we now love to, to have used to, to help people recode their resistance. See, you can be completely you and have everything you want. I want you to know this. And I'm, and I'm speaking from you know, firsthand experience because since learning this and removing resistance, I built a $5 million company. I moved to paradise. I live, I live on my own beach here in the sunshine, in the Gold Coast in Australia with sunshine around me. Uh, I'm married to the love of my life and, and, and I truly live a life of purpose. And it's just, it's just so great to let you know this. Number one, you don't need to fix yourself. In fact, it's impossible. Even the act of trying to fix yourself, you create an identity that you need to be fixed and you just keep on thinking about things you need to be fixed. And, and every time something goes wrong, you'll race to the next retreat, the next this, the next that. And you'll, you'll have a short-term feeling of, oh, I've got the answer. Then you'll get pulled right back because your identity will always pull you back. Instead, you've got to realize, hey, you know what? I'm cool. There, there's things about me that, that are cool. There's all these things, but none of that has to do with what I'm creating. And it's it's not me that's saying this. This is just factual. You look out in society and you'll constantly see people who don't live in abundance, who have lots of money. <laughs> and people who do live in abundance that, that don't have any money. You know, you'll see, you'll see people who have no self-esteem 
have an amazing relationship. And people with lots of self-esteem have no relationship at all. They have no intimate relationship. And so the premise that you've got to fix yourself, that you've got to feel into abundance or have some sort of codes downloaded, or it, it just doesn't hold up in reality. See, the truth is you must just not have resistance. And that's what I discovered. And I want to show this to you. So I have an amazing process. And I want to invite you to come and experience it. We're going to first help you truly understand the structure of conscious creation and realize you do, it's, it's nothing to do with you. The premise or the belief that you've got to have some new way of thinking or or change yourself in order to have more money is just wrong. You 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 you're not you can't get worthy to have love. You're already worthy, and, and I'm going to explain this to you in depth and in detail so you understand the new structure. Then I'm going to help you see the resistance that you have created to the results that you want, and how to unplug yourself from those and recode. It's a uh, it's unbelievable work, and it's going to blow you away. What takes others, you know, an hour and a half sitting in meditation, we're going to do in 10 minutes. What others say that you have to go feel abundance or change your thoughts and spend a lifetime trying to perfect yourself, we say, look, don't worry about trying to perfect yourself. Let's just remove the resistance and have whatever it is you want. Where others focus on fixing you, we focus on what you're creating. And I want you to know, you truly can be magnetic. You truly can have everything you want. But success is not personal. It's structural. And let me share that structure with you. It's an amazing, amazing training. It's yours free today. Click on the link. I'll see you in there. Bye for now.